So I've replaced my Sony Walkman with this uh, ScanDisk uh, Clip Plus. And basically what it is, uh, is it just a little MP3 player. Uh, we have 8 gigabytes inside. Um, you connect it to your PC through USB. And you can listen to your favorite music or podcasts. Let's check. I have my Joe Rogan podcast on. It's pretty convenient. Like you just turn it on and it goes back to the last thing you've listened to. But if you want to check the menu, just click uh, home button again. And goes music, but it's not necessarily just music. You have the folders here. If you go back down. Let's see. I don't know if you can see. You have uh, arrangement by song, uh, albums, artists. Uh, the favorite was recently added. So if you just uh, copied some songs, it's gonna show up on, uh, on the recently added. That's pretty cool. Especially for the gym. Uh, I like to update my playlist often. Uh, else you have playlists and then you have podcasts. That's a separate folder inside uh, and inside when you open in the PC, you can see a separate folder for podcasts. That's where you store all your podcasts. Uh, you can have audiobooks as well, uh, random recordings, I guess, and just folders. Um, what else is there? Uh, I have radio. You can record your voice. Uh, some settings. Uh, the battery lasts for about, let's say, three hours non-stop listening, maybe four. But in my experience, you you, you should really uh, charge it after each use. Uh, the thing with these batteries is uh, you don't want them to drain zero percent every time. What it does is kills your battery. Over, over slowly over a period of time it will kill the battery so we'll keep it at, at you know at, at some percent like 40 percent you know and then top it up again you can clip it on your clothes so that's why that's how i use it in my gym just clip somewhere and uh, you don't have to keep like in the pockets you don't have pockets in your uh, workout gear it's fine uh, headphone slot just the usual one you have a micro SD and I don't use it. I find uh, eight gigabytes plenty. So, but yeah, but if you if you want, you can use it. Uh, it's not the cheapest one. You can find the cheaper versions, I guess. It, this one came for about fifty pounds from Amazon. Uh, it did lock up once on me, but I found out the solution. Uh, if it comes unresponsive, basically you have to do is you click the home button. Uh, together with the power button and you hold that for about 30 seconds and then it should reset and then you could turn it back on again uh, it comes with the headphones uh, the default ones are really bad bad quality I wouldn't recommend using them because the source uh, coming uh, sound, sound coming from the device is actually not bad it's just the headphones that are really really crap and for some reason they include the cheapest ones I suppose so uh, I usually buy uh, Sennheisers and I found these ones to be one of the best ones for for the price now the last uh, the last pair lasted me for about two years and then the cable started uh, like uh, breaking down on ends but I was using extreme conditions you know I took it everywhere I took it like um, Took it with me to Thailand, and I uh, was exercising there, and then took it to the gym here, and take it to work, and I always tug on my headphones. You know, I take it off. I don't, I don't, I'm not being careful. So it took me two years to break them. So yeah, it's really good ones. They're not cheap, cheap, but they're cheap enough for the price. I mean, for the quality you get, it's really good value. So I would recommend those with a device. Uh, yeah, I'm relieved really enjoying this it's really uh, convenient like i said this is a for the gym for running i guess 
but you can use it anywhere. Um, what else is there? Yeah, I'm happy I upgraded from my Sony Walkman. Was that, that wasn't really a good purchase. Well, thanks for watching.